This is the BR470 heading west in that direction towards the city of Blumenau the German city where they have the big beer festival in October and also if you continue it's a long way but you can actually get to Paraguay in that direction about 50 kilometers to the city of Blumenau over to the left a little bit noisy two kilometers to the town of Iljota the capital of Lingerie going east down there to the coast to Navigants and Itajai maybe 20 kilometers and today we are going over there this is the town of Bauhu B-A-U it's a very small town as you can see that's about it but it does spread into the country also so we're heading into that town there Bahu and then we're going through the back of the town along the country roads to a place which I'll show you when we arrive and uh, mainly agricultural around that area rice farming forestry plantations of eucalyptus and pine I think a bit of fish farming also and also growing palms for the pal palmita maybe other things also but anyway let's go and have a look So here we go, a little agricultural shop here, there's a bit of a factory up there selling uh, or packing pet foods, okay there's a shop for materials for construction also up there. Not a very big place at all, a bit of a church there, a little supermarket there there's a mechanics garage there so we're heading we're going to the junction and turning left and heading towards the main church in the town as I say this is the main town but it is spread out also into the countryside so let's continue through. So I must have rode about two kilometers through the country, the other side of the town, and there's these little communities. This is still Bahu. Little small holdings scattered about. All rice fields there, look. And here we've got a fish farm, or part of a fish farm. And right over there in the distance, you see that big hill? That's Moru, the Bahu. Okay, so the hill of Bahu. Very famous around here. So that's where we're going to the top of there. So when I arrive at the bottom, I'll do a bit more filming. We've got a little cemetery there. People working, eh? It's a Sunday morning and they're working, look. So let's continue. I've rode another kilometre or so and another little community there's an health centre, sports centre there Academia Vida e Saúde and this is the main church so there's a sign there look there's a junction in the road to the left is a water park okay and Costa Bird and Mar and to the right where we are going Igrejas so church is churches and the Moru do Bahu 
it's a park botanical okay so we'll head off to the bottom of the hill park the bike up and get walking Well folks, I'm going to have to forget about the walk up the hill because I've just spoke to a guy and he said it's about 7 kilometres he said you want to be getting here really early in the morning by the time you've got up there and had a rest and come back down it's going to be all day I'm actually an hour later than what I thought anyway I've just arrived at the foot of the hill or where you park your car or your motorbike, whatever. It's took a long time to get here to find this place. So uh, I'll do a little bit of filming here and there as I ride through. Some beautiful little places. There's a lot of banana plantations also here. So there was the waterfall, which I've just filmed. So you've got these little streams. And there's also an house here, an old building or something. I don't know what that would have been. So I'm going to flick the camera around and show you. And there's something else here also I want to show you. So this building here, look. I don't know what that would have been. So, as I say, it took me... 45 minutes to get here, up and down these lanes, there's no signs. I asked one guy and he told me to get onto this road, which I did, and then I continued, continued. I could see the hill in the distance, but there were no roads going to it, no signs. And I asked the guy on a bicycle and he said, come down here to this house. And there's a track running at the side of the house, I imagine there, through the woods. And that's where you need to go, so you would park your vehicle down here and you would head up through there, through the woods. So I'll have to do it some other time, I'll come early in the morning, I want to be arriving here early. And then going on foot through there. So what would this place have been? Looks well, commercial, don't it? Garages in two garages there, and then these look like toilet blocks or something like that. Yeah. Well, help keep clean and don't destroy. Yeah, shower. Mm. about rubbish, throwing your rubbish on the floor. It's a very damp place here. Beneath the trees. Oh, let's have a look up here.
Yeah, it's horrible actually. Ooh, very damp. So yeah, probably some commercial premises. So we'll go back down there, there's something down there I want to show you. What about these for bamboos, eh? Well, they've got some width to them. People just throw the beer cans off. Had a little campfire here by the looks of it. Inside of the river stream. Type of place you could come if you had a camper van or even a tent. Come and do a bit of camping here for a day or so. Well, this is what I want to show you here. So this is a memoriam. There's not a lot of information on there, really. There's all the names of the people what lost their lives. And it's very faded. So, a tragedy. It doesn't tell you anything about the date, which I can see there. But what I remember people telling me in 2008, so it's 2024 now, in this area of Bahu, there was a landslide which uh, killed a lot of people. Apparently it rained for about a month non-stop. What I was told by someone, so I could be wrong, he told me it was raining for a month. Not every rain, but constant. And the... Uh, as you can see in this area here, it's all hills. And there was a landslide. And a lot, a lot of people lost their lives. Obviously it took the houses away in the valleys and a lot of flooding. So yeah, Bahu, not too far from Itajai. Unfortunately, these things happen, eh? There's quite a lot of this in Brazil. Not so long ago in Rio Grande do Sul. I just, there's a little white car come down there, but I just glimpsed behind those bamboo there, something white flashed by. And obviously it was the car coming down the lane. So yes, the tragedy of 2008. Well folks, we're back on. I've decided I'm going. The white car behind me, four people, two guys, two women. They go in up there also, they've gone actually. He said no, he said it's about an hour and a half to get up there. So why not, I'm out here, it's a lovely day. It's not even midday yet, it's getting on for midday but I'm gonna go anyway. So let's get gone. Look at this here. That's nice. So, it's not too bad actually, this pathway. I looked on Google before I left my house. And apparently it's about 900 metres high. 
and about four and a half kilometers to arrive at the summit so that guy told me seven more than seven but anyway it doesn't seem too bad at the moment just hope it continues like this well I've just stopped for a swig of water you won't believe what happened them four people I passed them oh maybe a kilometer back quite easy the bottom half but I came to a T in the road a junction and I took the left so I'm walking along there I must have gone 200 meters and I realized it was getting a little bit overgrown so I turned around I realized I'd gone wrong turned around walked all the way back by then they had gone in front so uh, I've done about 500 meters up this stretch as I say I've stopped for a drink I can hear them in the distance so I'm not that far behind them to say I went at least 200 meters out my way then walked back so as I say a nice drink bit of a breather it's not quite as steep as the one I did uh, a month or so ago the Escalvados that was very steep this is more less of an incline but anyway continue so we're getting very close to the top now but it's getting more difficult you've got all these rocks to climb around look at these here well, at least you've got these roots to hang on to to help you so look at this what you've got to go up you've got to be ever so careful because if you slip you're down there into the valleys very very steady along the rock edge well I'm not quite at the top but not far off look at this for a view it's a bit easy well I've come up with that in, uh, two couples for the last kilometer very slow going amongst the rocks well folks I'm here at last there's the antennas Jesus that last kilometer in between the rocks but like I said at least you've got those roots to hang on to and it's good that other it's good them other people were there also because if you ever fall you're in a bit of trouble it's better in a group they still haven't got up here yet the guys are waiting for the women all the time so I left them behind her way back well they should be here soon but anyway look it's a little bit uh, overgrown on the top here so can't see as good as I'd like to see behind me is closed oh that sun's bright I think I deserve a cup of coffee now and a sandwich well I'm glad I'm not working on those doing maintenance on these antennas coming up and down here maybe they get dropped off by an helicopter eh? so let's have a walk to the other side Solar panels. Yeah, they've not arrived still. And that's looking over in the other direction. Oh dear. The first part isn't bad at all. It's just that last kilometre or so where you're climbing up in the rocks. So this is the way the pathway goes through there back down 
Have a look over here. Oh, I can hear them. They've still got a way to come. Shago! <laughs> So down there in the distance, right over there in the distance, well it's the coast, where will that be then? Just got to think now, get my bearings, could be a Tajai. Parabéns, congratulations. Mais uma. <laughs> Mais uma. Para mim também, mais uma. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Just two more. Ellis. Nice. Oh, I end. So I've just been confirmed right over there in the distance is Peña. It was very easy. Congratulations! <laughs> <laughs> so I'm about halfway back down. The top half is a bit dodgy. You've got to be really careful coming back down over those rocks. But anyway, I'm down here now. I'm going to fill my water container up. Agua potável. For drinking water straight out of the mountains. Fill the water canister up and continue to the bottom. Those uh, two couples who I met, they both brothers, two guys, brothers and the wives from Bloomingow. I think the girls were suffering a little bit, especially one in particular. They're still up there, or they're making the way down now. Nice people. They're only 20, nearly 30 years old, so they're still young. Well, folks, I'm back down. And I do believe what it said on Google just over four kilometers to arrive at the top uh, it took over four hours in total to get there have a bit of a rest and come back so yeah coming back down actually is a bit more difficult than what you think because you're supporting your weight my feet are burning so try and slow yourself down coming down and as I say it isn't that bad. The last one I went up near Navigance was a lot steeper. This is quite a steady incline. It's just that top piece where you go through the rocks, which is a bit more challenging. Anyway, that guy, one of those guys were telling me about this house here in the background, this building. All this was uh, part of the Park Botanico up until 2008 when they had the landslide and everything was sort of abandoned so this were a bit of a commercial might have been a shop or something something like that but he said there's still people missing from that landslide or those landslides still people missing so anyway another bloody ill i know about so look after yourselves till the next time they still up there or making their way down i'm gonna get ready and get gone so look after yourselves see you soon thanks a lot bye